Coming up, folks show up at one Southern Kentucky food pantry to volunteer and to receive food. And police in the Czech Republic investigate after a mass shooting at a university. Plus, a busy week of weather is on tap, timing out those rain chances for the weekend as Mountain News First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. It was a busy day at a Southern Kentucky food pantry. Hundreds of people visited the food bank in Somerset to receive special holiday boxes. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more on the distribution from Pulaski County. It is a very busy time here at the Somerset God's Food Pantry. About a thousand people have come here just this week alone, picking up the holiday food baskets. And by the end of the day today, they were expecting to see between three and 400 people. Mitchell Mayfield was one of the hundreds who rolled out a shopping cart full of food from the food pantry Friday morning. Mayfield says recent events have made it hard to make ends meet. And the pantry director says Mayfield's story is like so many others they encounter this time of the year. She says it's not just people down and out. She says it's often people who have encountered a curveball in the game of life. My wife's uh, come ill and We've been dealing with that and, you know, we're a little tight on our income now because of all that. There is really no typical client. Everybody comes into um, a place of need in different ways. We've had several who have lost their jobs this year. We have several who just are on a fixed income, whether it's Social Security or disability. The food pantry will be closed Monday and Tuesday for the long holiday weekend. They will reopen Wednesday, and I'm told by the director that could very well be their busiest day of the year. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, now back to you. Phil, thank you. The director says the pantry operates solely on donations and was touched by a woman this morning who donated several hundred dollars despite not having a lot of resources herself. One not county based nonprofit used its reach and resources to provide food and gifts this holiday season. The nonprofit Roscoe's Daughter supplied food boxes and toys from its food pantry at Heinemann Student Ministries. The food pantry program is called Max's Pantry. It helped identify and serve families with critical needs in the county. The CEO and founder says a lot of groundwork went behind finding families to serve. It's really important to me that we reach the families that need it the most. So we began in early fall, um, late summer, setting up at each school's orientation to sign up the most critical families. If families are interested in applying to the program, they can submit an application and reach out to the nonprofit on Roscoe's Daughter Incorporated Facebook page. We will have more about today's event coming up at 6. We are tracking some dry and mild weather across the mountains to close out the work week. Let's take a live look in southwest Virginia from UVA wise. You can see a mix of sun and clouds. That current temperature also well above average. We should be in the middle 40s, most of us in the 50s and a few lower 60s this afternoon up to 61 for Harlan, 62 in Manchester, 56 in Pikeville and 58 over in Jackson. So once again, as promised, we are a little bit warmer on this Friday and some more warmer weather is on the way as we go into your Christmas Eve. We could see some middle to lower 60s across our region. Now up on the radar for most of us, we are dry all thanks to high pressure. But if you have those travel plans, especially to the north or west, you could run into a few showers over Illinois, also Indiana and Western Kentucky. But for us, those higher rain chances are looming as we go into your Christmas day. A small chance of a few showers tomorrow and most of us are dry on Christmas Eve, but those higher rain chances are on the way by Monday for Christmas Day. We also stay mild on Christmas Day. Temperatures back in the upper 50s, but we are trending cooler as we go into your Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week. As more rain chances are on the way, those details plus your full seven day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Olivia Cameron, thank you. Police in Prague have been out in force today, one day after a student shot and killed 14 people and wounded dozens more. The Czech interior minister called him a crazed gunman and said he is also dead. 
As Holly Williams reports, this happened at a university that is popular with Americans and other foreign students. The gunman targeted Charles University, an institution nearly 700 years old, where authorities say the 24-year-old attacker was a student. Video on social media appears to show him firing from a balcony. Police believe he killed his own father first and say he's a suspect in two other deaths this month, including a two-month-old baby. Some fled the scene on foot through the heart of historic Prague, the Czech Republic's capital. Others took cover wherever they could. Armed police moved in. They've now confirmed the gunman killed himself. I started he hearing these strange metallic banging noises. That was gunfire, presumably. That was gunfire, yeah. That was He, he opened fire basically uh, within seconds of of me entering the building. David Vichnar is a professor at Charles University and told us he was trapped in an elevator during the shooting and later evacuated. We walked down the two, two flights of stairs, which I hate to say were, were blood splattered by that point. There was blood smeared on, on the walls. Police say they have unconfirmed information from a social media account that the shooting may have been inspired by a similar incident in Russia during the fall. Holly Williams, CBS News, London. The Czech government has declared tomorrow a national day of mourning. Mass shootings are infrequent in Europe. This is one of the deadliest so far in this century. Coming up as First at Four continues, real estate and finance experts say new home sales are not what they once were. Plus, we are tracking some dry weather into this evening, but rain chances are not far away. Those details coming up.